What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen, welcome back to Tactical Bassin and happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys are enjoying some quality time with friends and family and loved ones. Today's video, video number three in our 2024 Holiday Buyer's Guide series. Today we're talking soft swim baits. We are excited to do this transition. We've been talking reels. Now it's time to talk swim baits. Uh, if you guys have not been following along with the videos, there's already been a few buyer's guides and we will link those down below for you. Uh, we are doing it a little bit differently this year. Tackle Warehouse has spread out their sales. It's not just a Black Friday sale. It's all these different fall sales headed into the holidays. So we've restructured the order of the buyer's guides, but we are just getting this thing started. Uh, swim baits are on sale going through Black Friday, so we wanted to go there next so that you guys could maximize your dollar uh, as you're either shopping for yourself or loved ones are shopping for you headed into the holidays. You wanna kick us off? Sure. Yeah, just like Matt talked about, uh, we're gonna cover a lot of baits today. We're gonna cover them fairly quickly. So down below in the video description, we'll link our favorite uh, the, all the baits we talk about, the gear and all that stuff, so you don't have to sit there and take notes. But again, these buyer's guides are for you to send to your loved ones so they get you the right stuff for Christmas or the holidays and uh, you can save a little bit of money uh, during the, the holiday sales as well. So kicking off soft swim baits, gonna talk about these guys right here. We're gonna talk about bluegill baits first. This little guy right here, this is the Mega Bass Sleeper Gill. Little downsized version. This is kind of a... Uh, uh, an addition to the line of the dark sleeper. You know, we've mm -hmm. been fishing the dark sleeper for several years. A great little bait. This guy right here is an awesome little bot. I mean, you can swim it too, but I like to fi fish it just off bottom, just touching bottom. If you're in a fishery that has bluegill as the main forage, this is a cool little swim bait. You can throw it on a lighter bait casting rod setup. But that guy right there got the little hook hidden in there in the in the dorsal fins. But that right there is the mega bass. Uh, sleeper gill, cool little bait. Next one up, I'll do that one. Let's do that. you? I'll do the. I'll do these two little guys, and I'll let you do those Perfect. two guys. Let's do it. This guy right here, that's the R RTF bluegill. That's by Savage Gear. Look how realistic that thing looks. It's almost like it's a it's a printed picture on the bait itself. Right. But again, a cool little wedge style tail, real subtle kick. Again, if you're in a fishery where the main forge is bluegill, these are the baits for you. You want that different profile. You know, it's not a trout profile. It's not a gizzard shad profile. It's just a cool little panfish profile. Again, ultra realistic, real stout top jig hook. You don't have to worry about bending that hook out, but uh, this is awesome in ponds, awesome as a bank fisherman, yep. and then works really well on big large mouth if you have bluegill in your lake. You know, the bluegill baits shine in springtime around the spawn. They're great on every fishery. Uh, there's a war between bass and bluegill during the spawn. But there are some fisheries where bluegill are just the ticket. You know, a lot of Florida fisheries, a lot of southern grass fisheries, a lot of pond guys. Some fisheries, they are just on those gills. Those little downsized profiles are awesome. There are also some upsized options. This is as big as I like to go in a bluegill profile. I kind of gauge it on my hand. Uh, that is about the size where bass can just consistently inhale that entire bait. Two baits for you. The first one is from Matt Lures. That's the hammer tail. It's got that wedge style tail on it. A very consistent swimming bait with a top hook. The other one, from Savage Gear, this is the line through. Now you can go line through to a belly treble hook. You can also go line through to a back treble hook. But I really like this bait with the belly treble. That's where it's most stable. The swim is awesome. It's got that little wedge tail back there kicking that perfect action, nice little head rock coming through the water and it fishes extremely well. So line through belly treble or top hook jig hook just depends on your conditions, but both are very reliable baits. All right, next up we got the burrito. You know, Matt just talked about that wedge style tail, that real subtle kick. This has a boot tail 
style tail. It's going to have a real aggressive kick. This thing kick, kicks like almost like a chatterbait. You can feel that tail thumping <laughs> down there. Uh, the five inch, the six inch, this is in our custom color. That's tactical shad, but the five inch is a great all around bait. You can throw it on your favorite jig rod. Uh, we've caught a lot of big fish on it. You can fish it mid column, fish it down on bottom, just bumping bottom. And then that six inch, if it's a little bit bigger profile, going to need a little bit heavier rod for it, but that fish is a little bit deeper, real good kick. If you're a guy that likes to, to fish ledges, offshore rock piles, and, and have a swim bait that you can feel down there, this guy is awesome. It's a, it's a silicone bait, so it's really durable, and the fish straight choke it. They do, man. So we started out with bluegills. Now we're talking shad profiles, right? And when it comes to a shad bait, it's all about profile <laughs> and kick. Shad don't swim down there with this soft little tail kick most of the time. A lot of times, especially if they know a bass is on them, I mean, it's pure vibration, right? You see them shoot out of the grass and it leaves that vibration turning in the water. You can see it on the surface. Super hard tail kick. That bait is amazing. Uh, again, a five inch and a six inch right in line with those. There's two more. We'll get to the other one. This is the JSJ Loose caboose this is a seven inch bait so you got a five a six and a seven all in a top hook i really like this bait we've been throwing jsjs for years in my opinion this is the best bait that josh josh st john jsj the best bait that josh has ever put out and i've thrown all sorts of production baits and Prototypes, prototype baits right. that that guy has done through the years. This is the most consistent bait he's ever done. Now, again, it's a silicone bait, just like the burritos. So with both, you're going to spend more for that. The actual material costs a lot more for these guys to build with, but you end up with a bait that is much more durable. You can catch a ton of fish on them without wearing them out. So you spend a little more up front, but they last way longer. Again, that top hook is key. These are baits that you can crawl down deep. I'll fish this bait in 20, 30 foot right on bottom, but I'm also able to dock skip with it. I've caught some really good fish shooting this thing up under docks and then winding it mid column back out of there. I love that jig hook. If I can get them to fully commit to the bait and they're inhaling it, jig hook is deadly. You stick them in the roof of the mouth and you get every single one of those fish out. Comes in some awesome colors. This is my favorite. Tim mentioned we'll link all this stuff in the video description. We'll also give you our favorite colors for each one as well. All right, Matt talked about the jig hook, the top hook. Now let's talk about a couple belly hook baits. Mm -hmm. Number one, this is the Big Bite Baits B5. This is a line through bait. You can, I don't know if you can see it right there, but uh, you click that link down in the video description, you'll see up close HD pictures. But this has like a, a straw, a tube that you run your line through and tie on your treble hook bait. So when you set the, your treble hook, so when you set the hook on this bait, you fight just the fish and the hook. The bait slides mm -hmm. up your line, uh, it just helps with getting those fish in the boat. But this thing has an amazing kick. Uh, you kind of discovered this a couple years ago up north chasing smallmouth. Yeah, that's one of those baits that, I mean, I overlooked it for years. I had them and didn't even throw them. You know, I buy everything. <laughs> and, and I was on a trip, and to be honest, I ran out of mag drafts. I had a pike take my last mag draft. And, and I looked in my boat and I'm like, oh, I got some of these with me. That's pretty similar. Oh, oh, I had missed it. I crushed with this little B5 and then just went on a tear, brought it back home. That year, from giant smallmouth up north to big largemouth down south to numbers of fish chasing bait in the fall, I mean, I just crushed with it everywhere I went. It's, it's an easily overlooked bait. You can see the weight inside of it. There's not a whole lot going on until you see this thing on the end of your rod and a fish comes out and just throttles it. And then it all clicks. Next bait up is going to be the mag draft. We got the 6 inch and the 8 inch. Mm -hmm. Now the 6 inch, both of these baits swim great at slow speeds. The 6 inch, this is my spotted bass killer. This is the bait that I like to skip under laydowns. Skip, I mean, you can skip the big one under docks too. Yep. But skipping under docks. This is my spotted bass bait. You know, it's not it's not too big for them. They can still get the bait in their mouth with their smaller mouths. Comes in some great colors, but this the B5 is a line through, 
this is actually connected with a swivel and has a magnet built in so you can you can sink that hook down in there and then that magnet holds that that hook up out of the way so you can get this thing real tight to cover uh, that thing swims amazing and then the eight inch mm -hmm. you guys probably saw this last year i caught i, I don't know an eight eight something on this guy right here throwing it up into, into a tunnel but this is a bait that just really mimics those gizzard shad it just has a real wide kick a real good body wobble thing kind of just works works amazing at slow speeds again still has that that swivel system with the magnet uh so when you when you do hook those fish they can't get the leverage when they're when they're head shaking and stuff but but that guy right there mm -hmm. cool colors the mag draft the eight inch that is a really cool treble hook bait if you want to throw a belly hook. You know, that 8-inch mag draft in recent years has become one of my all-time favorite baits. The 6-inch mag draft is definitely the more popular bait, mm -hmm. right? Because it's easy to throw. You can throw it on a jig rod, right. and it just catches them. But the 8-inch mag draft has a ton of drawing power, and that's something you have to understand with swim baits. Size <clears throat> equals that. drawing power. That means fish will come from farther more often and i do so much damage with the eight inch mag draft i mean top three bait for me right now for sure in fact i use the burrito the jsj and that mag draft as like a one two three the jsj and the mag draft in particular seven inch bait here eight inch bait here top hook belly hook just different situations. If I need to get down, I'm going to be bumping along the bottom, JSJ every time. If I plan to keep it up above them, I start with that mag draft. If they won't commit to the bigger profile, back to the JSJ. If I'm getting a lot of bites, up to the mag draft. Just trying to maximize my time on the water. Real quick, let me stop you there. If you guys like uh, you know, this is just a buyer's guide, but if you want a more in-depth seminar, Matt just did an amazing swim bait seminar, almost three hours long. So we'll link that down below as well, where we dive deep into each of these baits, the different categories, the different kicks, the swims, all that good stuff. We'll leave that down there. Sorry. Was that, was that reminding me that this wasn't the seminar video? Like, no. Just keep it moving. Keep no. it moving. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe just a little, <laughs> maybe. All right. One more for you. Uh, well, it's two, right? But it's the same bait, a uh, weedless bait. If I'm throwing the weedless, my favorite bait is that mag draft freestyle. Again, it's that six inch mag draft, but in a weedless profile. So you pair this up to an aftermarket uh, jig style hook uh, or wide gap hook, weighted wide gap, uh, just to get a weedless swim out of it. You can fish it around brush, a rock. I'll throw this a lot like on riprap. If I know I'm going to be bumping along that riprap so I'm not tearing up my treble hooks, I throw it a lot. Anytime the water floods, gets up into the brush or up into the grass, immediately go to that. I use two different styles of hook. Sometimes I fish it on just a standard swim bait hook. Sometimes I fish it with that underspin. This is the owner beast. This is that BKK. Again, we'll link all this stuff in the video description for you. Uh, but there's a time and a place for both styles of rigging. Sometimes I want the flash, especially if there's a lot of chop on the water or that water's gotten murked up after a storm. That flash can go a long ways. But sometimes I want to stay with that more natural profile and I go with just that weighted beast. Also, that weighted beast comes in. This is the three quarter. You see how big that weight is? This is deadly i think that is so overlooked i throw that six inch bait on that three quarter beast a lot because i can fish it in really nasty situations down in like 10 20 25 feet of water and i stay connected and i'm bumping through that cover and i know that i'm catching fish that other people are missing because their baits are rising up out of there all right all those baits we just talked about had boot uh, boot style tails. Now let's talk about some wedge style. So these are going to be more of your swim baits you use, more subtle, more and you're going to use them more in the colder weather, colder water months. Yeah. Let's talk about this guy right here. This is the Huddleston 68. Way, 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 way back when we used to take the eight inch, cut the tail yep. off, yep, and put it on the six inch Huddleston. So that had the bigger tail, bigger kick, smaller bait profile. Uh, it was good for those spotted bass fisheries, those smallmouth fisheries, and they started making the Huddleston 68. So a six-inch bait 
with that Huddleston eight inch tail on there. Has an amazing kick. Uh, this is a bait that if you're trying to get into this swim bait game, uh, you're a tournament fisherman, you don't necessarily want to throw a big eight inch or nine inch, 10 inch bait during your tournament hours. This is a bait that produces a lot of bites and big bites. Okay. You can put a belly hook on there if you want, but if you're a, a guy that is in a gizzard shad fishery or a, a trout fishery, that HUD 68 is a really cool bait. Downsized profile, a lot of good kick, and it straight catches them. So speaking of a gizzard fishery, swim bait fishing is adapting. It's changing. Uh, the baits are getting better. We're getting baits more dialed for different situations. This is the Matt Lures Hammer Tail Shad. It's got that same wedge style of tail, so that subtle kick back there behind that bait. But on this one, that tail is so small that it's actually a pretty aggressive little kick back there. But this is a true gizzard profile, and I have wrecked shop with this thing. Uh, I like to fish it fairly high in the water column, fairly fast. That's actually how I like to fish it. Uh, you can get down and crawl this thing with that wedge style tail, but I think the 68 does a better job of that. For me, this bait is typically just chucking and winding. Pretend you've got a spinner bait in your hand, but you're covering water with a big bait, imitating a gizzard shad in a true lifelike profile. That has been a really good bait. If you are on a true trout fishery and you're looking for a big bite on fish that are feeding on trout, stalker trout, the Huddleston 8 inch. That bait right there, soft bait, has probably caught more double digits than a lot of these baits combined. There's just been so yeah. many big ones caught on that bait right here. While I'm talking about it, they come in several different uh, sink rates, rates of fall. We like to throw either the 5 or the 12. If we had to pick one, it would be the 12. You could fish it down on bottom. You could creep it slow in the winter time. You can fish it up in the water column, fish it a little bit faster. Uh, if you're fishing shallow around cover, that five works really well as well. But that guy right there, the eight inch Huddleston, you guys have probably heard about it for a decade or more. That one produces big bites. It does. One more for you to wrap up the baits and then we'll talk rods from Savage Gear. This is their eight inch RTF trout. Similar wedge style tail. Specifically, I really like the fast sink version. Uh, again, jig hook bait, very similar profile, very similar swim, but some unique colors. Again, I really like that fast sink version of this bait. This particular color with that purple glitter in it, crush with this thing. Again, we'll link the exact colors in the video description for you, uh, but just another option, full size, eight inch bait bottom crawling going into winter time it's a deadly deadly option and they they i mean that this bait was really well thought out too they have a, a harness right here for if you want to connect a stinger hook yep. uh you don't have to do the wire like we used to do with the with the huddleson uh, let's talk rods real quick if you can find them <laughs> if you can get them this is our hands down our favorite swim bait rod this is the loomis 966 yep. this is a rod that will do it all you know you don't need it for the little guys but if you're throwing i'm gonna say a six inch or bigger yeah you you definitely want a swim bait rod now it's important to have a rod that has enough tip enough backbone that you don't lose those fish you can drive that hook home and they come up the head shake you got a soft enough tip you don't lose those fish but again you're in control when you have a big eight twelve 14 pound bass eat a swim bait a lot of times you don't feel like you're in control you want to have control <laughs> so we're going with a big rod a real tranks 300 uh braid 65 pound test to some big leader either 20 to 25 30 pound even 35 pound uh, mono or fluorocarbon again we're gonna link all this stuff down below in the video description yep. but having a, a good swim bait rod a great swim bait rod a good reel power handle you want to get those fish as soon as you set the hook you want to grind them and get them to the boat so it is really important you spend all this time all this money on the right baits when you do get that bite you want to make sure you get them to the boat all right i got a couple more rods for you uh, this is one that i really dialed in last year this is shimano zodius the 79 extra heavy this rod crushes uh, that extra heavy, I mean, it's a mean, mean rod. 
it's very hard to find rods that can do multiple things well. For me, this is a dedicated soft bait rod. Uh, but typically when I say a soft bait rod, I'm thinking jig hook rod. This rod still crosses over and will throw the treble hook bait. It is literally my favorite rod for the 8-inch mag dress, specifically my favorite rod for that bait. Now, that's a treble hook bait, but still, that's a 2 off treble. It's a serious treble hook. Uh, but my hookup to land ratio with this rod is amazing. Whether it's a big treble hook or a jig hook, if they hit that thing, it's going to hurt. That, there's no way around it. I hammer that hook set with this thing. Very, very impressed with the rod. Slightly shorter handle uh, than the 966, but extremely comfortable to fish all day. Again, Tranks 300, no secret, that's one of our all-time favorite reels. Another one for you, more on the budget side. Uh, again, we're looking for a dedicated rod for soft bait fishing, especially the jig hook baits. 13 fishing Defy Black. This is the eight foot heavy, and it is a pool cue. This rod, you got a little bit of tip in there, and then you just hit straight backbone. backbone. You want to crush a hook set, it will crush a hook set. And that is a very, very affordable rod. Uh, I've got that Concept A3 on there, which is not a super budget reel, right? But it is a fantastic reel. Uh, that combo, that pairing is really really fun and you can save a lot of money on the rod and that one's still got that action it can still smash them and grind those fish because tim nailed it you go through all the work all the time the energy you acquire the baits you tune them you learn how to swim bait you go out there you do the things you get the bite and you've got the wrong rod and you lose them that's a disaster take that final step if you're going to get serious about swim bait fishing Get a dedicated swim bait rod, put the time in so that when you get that fish or when you get that bite, you get that fish. Guys, hopefully that helped uh, simplify the swim baits for you. Like I said, down below in the video description, we will link uh, all these down below for you, our favorite colors and all that good stuff. But again, happy Thanksgiving. Tomorrow we're going to follow this video up. We're going to talk about hard swim baits. So yep. should be a good one. Guys, if you like this video, hit that like button subscribe to the channel, and we will see you tomorrow on the next video.